I want to talk about Thundercats. Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. Oh, yeah. Thundercats, everybody. Ho! So Thunder, Thundercats. Thundercats. Ho! Ho! There we go, Hello. Thirsty Daddy. Isn't it Thundercats? <laughs> like, go? I said, ho, it's a go. The live action version is a go. We're getting a live action Thundercats after all this freaking time. It's finally going down. It's the director of Kong v. Godzilla. That's right. That's who's making this. He's actually going to be directing it. He's helping write the whole project. Adam Wingard, he came forward and said, okay, we actually have an update on this. He's been working on it for since 2021. Uh, uh, and it's like... And they've been wanting to do it back and forth, back and forth. And he's been having his script. Him and uh, Simon Barnett have been writing it. They're working on the script. They finished the last draft, basically, he said, right now. And they're going to go into production of the movie after uh, it's been put on hold for so long. But now that he's done with Kong versus Godzilla or Kong v. Godzilla, whatever, Kong and Godzilla collide, Kong and Godzilla rub each other. After that movie comes out now, he actually has time to dive into this movie and finally make a live action Lionel and a live action Snarf Snarf. And it'll be finally moving forward. So. <laughs> When it will come, there's no release date yet. They're still, again, developing the script. They got a good, good cat or good uh, script right now, but they keep updating it. And Wingard mentioned that he'll direct. And of course, like I said, he's he's co uh, co writing the whole thing with Barnett. So, uh, but this came out in 1985, the original one. If you don't know what Thundercats is, 1985, 130 episodes, four seasons. You know, Lionel with that sword, and they tried to do like uh, I remember it was like before I moved to California, I was working on a movie with Sam Huntington. If you watched a Disney movie called uh, Jungle to Jungle, he was Mimi Siku, uh, but he was supposed to play <laughs> Lionel's voice. He was to, that's a that's a deep that's a deep cut for you right there. He was supposed to be Lionel, but it kind of fell apart, I guess, at that point. It was being an animated thing at this at that time. But now they're gonna try to do a live action, which again, what are they gonna do? They do prosthetics? Are they gonna have people that look like lions? I don't really know about this. Like, how are you gonna make this live action? Because again, it's kind of a weird medley of like human animal hybrids, something that like a chinchilla might be Who with a beaver. I don't know. Me? But I, I do, Peppy. I'll go see with you, man. I'm down. It's like Practi mutant teenager thundercats. You think they're gonna go with Do you think they're gonna go with practical effects? <laughs> they can't, Mike. They can't, right? They can't, <laughs> no, right? No. Uh, what do you think They'll they're gonna do, do Mike? AI. You, AI. They're gonna AI create Thunderland. Oh, um, uh, Mike, what do you think about this? Is this gonna be a good project moving forward? And are you excited about? It? And what do, you, what do you think they're gonna do about about actually creating these characters in live action? It just seems like it's gonna be very difficult, doesn't it? Uh, how do you think? How do I think that they'll address the grand saga of Snarf, Brian? Snarf, um, Snarf. I uh, Narf. wish it was you, Friday. You no, know, you <laughs> could tell me my whole opinion about this. You know exactly how mm -hmm. I feel about this. This is going to be. I know, but I'm going to hear it straight from you. <laughs> this is going to be incredible. I re I revisited the original series a few years back, and I was just astonished at the at the the fact that this was like arc storytelling, like you know twenty years before uh before breaking bad or like they started doing that more in the late 90s like on a kid's show and and you know i've said it a million times lionel was dumb but there's a reason for that it's because his cryopod malfunctioned when their spaceship was uh escaping thundara right um he so he's a he's a he's a child in a kid's in a kid's body um to see some mm -hmm. people Paris, that wait, I'm sorry, he's wait a child in a man's body or a man in Correct. a child's body. You're okay, thank you. A child in a man's body. Perfect. Snarf, um, snarf. Yeah, yeah. So that explains why why he's dumb and he's very experienced Shazam. despite being the the king of the Thundercats. Uh, I'm super happy to see some people that are like are very passionate about this. Uh, about this I penis because I actually think that there's right. a lot to explore. I think that there's a lot to explore in this world. Uh, if they if they hit this first one, <laughs> yep, same, same Colonel Guile. Uh, if, <laughs> if they knock, if they knock a, a three base hit with this, I can easily easily see this spin expanding into a new uh, a new universe like Mum Mumra is such an incredible bad guy like it's this such creepy occult he's like the ancient spirits of evil he's got these creepy statues behind him that like <laughs> that yes, are sir. like whispering psycho thoughts into his head like it's genuinely scary if you watch it so um i think that there's enough people that care about this property that they'll probably do the special effects right and that there's enough enough story existing in the you know, in the existing framework for anybody really to come up with a competent storyline. 
I don't think that that's going to be tough to pull a, a good script out of. So I'm really looking forward to it. So, so Mike, do you think it's going to be then, are they going to be like a hybrid of, of practical effects and humans? Like okay. uh, something like, or, or, or special effects makeup? You remember the um, the Cats movie, right? The adaptation of the Broadway play? The Butthole Edition, yes. With the uh, Corden. Maybe James Corden will yes. play Snarf, Brian. Idris <laughs> Elba, also, also in that, just mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. but yes. It's, it's true. It's, it's true, yeah. Release. I'll say it one more time. If you've watched <laughs> Cats, if you haven't seen Cats, uh, which most Don't. people have not seen Cats, Don't. I'll say it one more time. If I haven't said it 500 like times, it. release the Butthole Cut. Release the butthole. Don't. <laughs> Do not watch it. <laughs> I, I have to step to the microphone so everyone can. Do not watch cats. Yes, I mean, you can watch Idris Elba scenes. He was great. But don't <laughs> do not cats. Cats died on Broadway. Just let's keep Just it that way, please lie. and thank you. Like, By nope, the way, nope. not great on Broadway either, but definitely not great on cinema. <laughs> Um, uh, Thirsty Daddy, what do you think about this? Do you want to see the Thundercats come back live action form? Will do well, and can they give it justice for a cartoon that just changed people's like, I mean, whole concept of reality back in the eighties? Or children's? Yeah, it, I remember my son. This was his thing. I I spent three months finding that sword for Christmas. For Christ's sakes! <laughs> Did you really? Uh, yeah, awesome. I mean, they were hot, and you. Fi I finally found it two weeks before Christmas, and he, that was his thing. He had the Thundercat blanket. It took me 10 years to get that blanket away from him. <laughs> but I, I mean, he, he was, what was he, about four when the show, show hit the air? Oh, I mean, dang. Yeah, that's, that's prime time to be a Thundercat fan. And then he'd walk around that house, you know, thunder, 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 cat. <laughs> oh, I want more. Peppy wants to see more. Uh, GR, do you oh, see anybody that could be cast? Make, they, hopefully they'll, as Mike said, I, it, they'll do it right. I, I wonder about casting, too. Who plays Lionel? Lionel, who plays Lionel? Are they going to be like... Please do not put Timothy Chalamet in this movie, everybody. I just want to say that. Please do not. No, put that Timothy little movie. twit ain't going to be lying. Oh, I'm sorry. He's it's got to be somebody with Warner Brothers. Five. So who's making this is the question. Yeah, I mean, I, I maybe he could be. Maybe he could be. I don't think it's WB though. I don't think it's WB. Uh, but I, I mean. I don't know. I don't place Lionel. You scared? You scared, I, I scared Brian? H you, you don't have confidence. I, I'm scared, man. Aegis Elba would be a good uh, panther, though, I think. I think that'd be, he'd be freaking yeah, great. Yeah, who said that? Who mentioned that in the I, chat? That's good. Oh, I, that's oh good. Colonel Guile. Guile. Boom. Yeah, nailed I it. Be, I think that'd be good. Uh, I think maybe they cast, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, like, leading man these days, maybe The Rock is going to be Lionel. I don't think I want to see that, though. The Rock would be good, actually a good panther, too. Or Batista, friend of the show, he could be panther. Oh, I do like Batista. Hey, Batista, mm -hmm. ooh, that's, yeah. that would be a good panther too, yeah. I like Batista. John Cena can be in there. He was beefy. He He's was all like ex-wrestlers. Thick, thick meat cat, but also yes, he was. very, very wise. Very wise, very wise. So mm -hmm. get, um, I don't know, get somebody smart in there. I don't know. Spring, what do you think about well, this? Do you think cat. that uh, there's any good casting for this? Uh, do you think this movie will do well, and can they give it justice, taking it from animation to live action? Um, I think that there is a huge um, weight on casting, 110%. Like, to make it good, you have to have the right people. Um, but I also think that there is a huge following and that it can be absolutely successful. Like, there's a lot of people who grew up with this. There's a lot of people who like it. Um, I'm down for Margot Robbie also, by the way, in anything she does because be she's good. amazing. So, yeah, Good absolutely. I just I, f I feel like if they make the right choices and it's written well, like it can absolutely be successful. How about how about uh, Schnarf? Uh, Paul Giamatti or Schnarf? Paul I mean, Giamatti I like Paul, I like Paul Giamatti <laughs> in that, that's an so, interesting one. Sure, I don't hate that. <laughs> I'm actually so glad they shit. haven't made this. Edward Hyde, I'm actually glad that they haven't made this before because they probably would have fucked it up. So if they do totally, it now, they might 100%. be able to do it properly. You know? Yeah. 
So maybe, Crazy. maybe we, maybe this can be amazing. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I have, I have high hopes. I'm kind of in. Jason Statham should be in here too, somewhere. Statham could be oh, somebody. Jason Statham, my guy. Everyone knows. I love Jason Statham. He could play well, a lot of call. Seen a lot of call for uh, Henry Cavill or uh, oh, Henry or Cavill. what or Aquaman or uh, I'm gonna oh, hard Jason pass Momoa? on Henry Cavill. Henry yeah. Cavill can fuck himself. Jason Momoa all day. Here, James James McAvoy. He wants oh. to play Lionel mm-hmm. apparently. Does He's he need to put on about 60, 60 pounds Dude. of Marvel? Juice. I don't, did you see him in Split? I would be he, in Split, he was pretty impressive. I feel like he, he might scary, be able yeah. to do it. Honestly, I'll yeah, be down for McAvoy. Do. Yeah, I would that's, too, but I feel like it, it's just easier it for it to be. Oh, uh, uh, Colonel Guile just said that um, Jason Satham should be Tigra or Tigra, 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 right? Sorry, I don't mean to fuck it up. I didn't really watch this. I just did research on it. I'm sorry. I'm old, by the way, everyone, in case you didn't know. <laughs> hey, this wasn't hey like, I was like, I was a Ninja Turtles girl, like, growing up. Like, this is just not in my wheelhouse. We were all, we were all Turtles yeah. girls, Sabrina. We were all Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtle people too here. We were Ninja Turtle people here. But I, I'm interested to see how the casting goes for this overall. I think it, Oh, see, people I, like more, this too. Yeah. I'm just nervous about it, everybody. I'm just nervous, and I think that it could be a lot of fun, and it could bring a lot of great nostalgia for yeah. kids that were around the 80s. And people can I know it might... It might do really well. Uh, maybe, maybe it is Henry Cavill. Maybe you have. Uh, no. I don't know if you have a big, big name. Big, big name in here. Would no, you Cavill. That's like. Okay. Well, how about Fastbender? No. Could Fastbender be in here? Maybe mm, Fastbender. Yeah, I, I, I could be into Fastbender. Maybe he'd be, he'd be having to play like a really naive character, which doesn't doesn't really seem like his forte. Yeah, that's. Well, no, I feel like Fastbender can do anything. He's kind of a. That's true. He played a robot. He's played. I mean, he's he doesn't fuck around. If anyone again, I think it's called Fishbowl. Fuck, I wish I knew. Um, one of the most amazing movies that I've ever seen, and it's like so gritty. And like before, he was like super famous, um, and it was about like a teenager who was like a dancer, and like he was dating her mom, and then they had like a weird relationship. Like it's just a weird thing. But he was so. I think it's the best performance that he's ever given as an actor. He was fucking spectacular. And after seeing that, I believe he can do anything. So. I'm kind of a fast bender for life kind of gal. Sorry. Well, yeah. Fastbender's fucking great. McAvoy too. I mean, that's kind of like an X Men, you know, team up again. I guess that came to my head. Uh, Mumra. Any, any anybody from Mumra? Anybody? Any uh, villainous people on their head? Uh, could it be? Oh man. You should cast what about- someone, like Steve Carell. I don't know why. Like, give me some like random thing. You got- <laughs> uh, no, I feel like he could do it. Willem <laughs> Dafoe. In his head, no. Oh, uh, yes. Who, who Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe would be Willem fucking Willem great. Dafoe. I don't know if that's yeah. too much. Uh, Fuck yeah, Pepe agrees too. I think Willem. he could bring the scary, though. Ben oh, Kingsley. Uh, How about Ben Kingsley? Queen, ben King- just, Queen yeah. just said that uh, Brad Pitt, they did a fake trailer and Brad Pitt uh, played Lionel. Oh, I could see Brad Pitt doing it too. Back in his Troy days, you know what I mean? You know, he's getting kind of a little older, but maybe he could still do it, though, I think. Because Lionel should be younger, right? Shouldn't he be younger? Well, that much makeup, anybody can do it. It's <laughs> yeah. all relative. Great point. Yeah, yeah that's a great point. <laughs> uh, We're making a lot of the too old, too old. Bring in the new Hollywood. Yeah. Kick those old coots yeah. out to the out to Hollywood. Oh, so Timothy <laughs> Chalamet is who you're No ageism, for? Mike. I, I just don't no, I know Chalamet doing tonight. everything. Do. I'm joking. Chalamet joking, would make obviously. a good Wiley cat. A wily cat, one of oh. the one of the Thundercat kids, because he's already got the flame shaped haircut going on. Okay, okay. Mm. Well, you, he Good has point. my haircut currently. I have the Chalamet special right now. Oof. In case anyone. And you talk. look exactly like Wily Kit from the Thundercats, Sabrina. I was going to say something so about that. Ev- can someone cast me for the part? <laughs> Good call. There we go. Put it out there right now. That'd be great. There you go. Just saying. I'm- I just want Paul Giamatti to be Schnarf. That's all I'm saying. I think that'd be fucking okay. great. I like that. I'm into that. <laughs> Willem Dafoe's Mumra. Uh, Lionel is the hardest pick. Uh, Adrian I feel like Elba. we should, be, we should go into casting. We're doing a great job casting all of these things. We're going to need a big budget if we're pulling in all these names. We're I'm just saying. The biggest somebody, budget. Somebody, yeah, dude, did we not get that Denzel shit with fucking King? I just feel like. Maybe they should refer to us and we get like a small like finder's fee, like five percent or something. I don't know. I think it's possible. Yeah. How about some this is just like Sabrina? Sure, back end points even better. Gold. There you go, Mike. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. This is freaking eighties gold, everybody. Is Mumra. <laughs> oh, most <Will> Smith. <laughs> 
I love it. Queen, Queen Oh, Peppy wants to see that. Paul Giamatti could do Schnarr. <laughs> he could. He could just do his voice. That'd be good fun. But again, Absolutely. this is like 80s gold right here. I love this so much. I'm worried about them touching upon it because you never know what's going to happen with this. They could fuck it all up. But I don't want them to fuck it up.